You guys seem to love watching me react to Forex TikTokers, so let's do another episode jumping right in. Remember, by the way, that all the people that I'm watching, you can see them at the top of the screen, so credit to the original uh, creators, of course. Go check them out if that's something you want to do. Let's jump in. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I A little motivation to start us off. If you're a forex trader, then it's important to know the best hours for trading the market. So the first step is to understand each trading session, which can bring in more or less volume depending on the forex pair that we're trading. The three most common forex sessions are typically referred to as the London, the New York, and the Asian session, which open and close every weekday. So now, for example, if we want to take a short-term trade on EURUSD, then technically we can trade it whenever. We'll see the most market activity take place for it during the London session. Cool little tip there, trade during sessions for the most volatility. I remember at one point I was trading Forex, yeah. I started yeah. off with 500 quid okay. in my Forex account. And in one week, I flipped that to three grand. Three grand? Yeah. In one week? In one week, yeah. So I thought, okay, yeah, yeah, this is sick. This is sick. I'm making money. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be a Yeah, yeah, that's sick. Bro. Yeah. Obviously, everyone would think that. Like, you... let's, see the, let's see the other side of the story. No, you 3K. can't even say that, man. Well, you made, you flip 500 pounds into 3K in one week. You, you're thinking, bro, every week is going to be like this. Yeah. You start measuring it up and exactly. that in a year. Yo, I'm so Andrew Tate. Whip out the calculator, right? You start whipping out the calculator. You're like, oh, look how I'm going to make this much, this much every month, every year, whatever. <laughs> more per trade. I started putting a lot more money in my trades because I'm thinking that I know what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. I'm the man now. Yeah, because you made three bags, boy. You're going to see, yeah, because I, 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 I lost that 3K in one day. No <laughs> way. Blew it one day. Oh, in one day, you lost the three oh, bags. That's, that's how it typically goes. It typically goes that way. You, you start out really hot or, you know, that's like the, the one thing they say often is that the worst thing a new trader can experience is a stroke of good luck. Because if, if you have good luck like this, you suddenly pile in the trades, you think you're, you think you're hot, uh, you think markets are easy, and then the markets very quickly will humble you and take you back to your starting point. Uh, just to remind you uh, how difficult they really are to, to make money consistently in. Respect. Love to see a little success story. I can bring you an alarm. What kind of currency is that? Or I can bring you in cold. Canada. Okay, so we got a Canadian flexor in front of us here. Look at the, the stacks of cash. I've been trading. Let me just say something. I've been trading for six years. I've been profitable for about three now. And uh, I have never needed cash on my desk. Although it's kind of cool, I gotta admit, to have cash on your desk. What's the point? Just keep it in the trading account. So for those of you who don't know, my favorite Forex pair is USD CAD. And that's quite strange hearing it from someone who only trades US 30. But the main reason that I like US 30 CAD is due to the fact that it does US 30 CAD does not correlate with US 30. That means that if US 30 goes up, USD CAD goes down in this example right here. Basically, what I'm trying to say by this is let's test this. <laughs> We've got USD CAD pulled up and to test the correlation, which you guys can do, it's kind of a cool uh, little indicator you can actually pull up on TradingView, is you go right here to correlation coefficient and let's cross it with US 30. And what this is gonna show you is it's gonna show you the correlation between the two assets. So when we go here, uh, Dow Jones 30, we, we compare these two, we'll get an accurate look at whether or not these things are correlated or not. And so what the individual mentioned in his TikTok was that there is sort of a negative correlation, meaning that when the stock market rises, dollar CAD might decline and when dollar CAD or when the stock market is uh, is falling, dollar CAD may rise. And to his point, it is actually pretty true. You can see here 
that recently there has been a pretty strong negative correlation. So he's actually spot on with this. You can see that as the stock market, uh, or sorry, as dollar CAD tends to fall, uh, the stock market is doing the opposite. So there's a strong inverse correlation, right? So if you have this negative one on this indicator, it's gonna show you like inverse correlations, uh, which is really cool. So awesome point by him. Elite Trading South Africa. Oh, that looks good. Focus, dude. <laughs> He's like bummed out because the 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 screen was red. He's got it like sitting in front. Of him. He's like, let me just flip this around. I'm just gonna just own up to it. Let's see if he turns it around. Maybe not on this one. Let's go check out Elite Trading. South Africa. Let's see what he's all about. Babe, I'm thirsty. Can I get some juice? Babe, I'm a forex trader. Come on. Here's something. Here's another one. And another one. Yeah. <laughs> you just printed out of thin air. I'm a forex trader. <laughs> Is this South Africa? It's beautiful. Look at these. 150,000 US dollars. Interesting. 112 US thousand US dollars. Man, you could be living on uh you could be living on that yacht with that kind of profit. That's awesome. Oh my look how much there's so many cells on this screen right now. There's so many cells on the screen right now that it looks like a level of resistance. It's so thick, it's just like it's just like a zone that's been drawn on the chart. <laughs> Let's just hope it goes down for this guy. Dude, this is like stressing me out. Look, it's so you can't even see separation between the the orders. Let's go. <laughs> He's like shouting and celebrating. The music change and everything. That is awesome. Uh, so today, let's, let's see how we can flip this account. Live trading news. Oh no, guys. You guys love this stuff. So we got cells open. Uh, we know the drill. Let's get ready. News coming up in almost eight minutes. So we see how. Thing is, usually people only show like when they post it themselves. Usually it's only profits, and when people post, get posted, right? People like screen record their trades for them and post it. That's when you see the losses. So I'm gonna guess that this is probably a profitable trade. There it goes. One minute. He's up a hundred. Wow, look at that. It's def uh, yeah, it's a one minute chart, so it was uh, traded right around the news. As I say often with the news, like, it's such a, I don't know, man, like, to each their own, if you have a strategy, if you have a, a track record of making more money than you lose, who's to judge you? But I will say this, um, you know, the average person who tries to trade news, 99.99999% of people who do that are probably just blowing accounts and not showing it on screen. And then when it works out, they show it on the screen happily, right? And I'm not, I'm not saying that this, I don't know who this person is. I'm just saying that in general, you see these very commonly on social media because they blow up, right? Everybody wants to see you make a bunch of money in a split second. Uh, but the, the problem is a lot of times what's actually going on behind the scenes is they're doing it on a demo account, they're screen recording, and they're taking, in one account, they take buys, in one account, they take sells, and they screen record and upload the one that actually was profitable. So be very careful when you follow people who are like, look, I made, you know, 10 grand in 30 seconds, but it's on a demo account, and they're not telling you the full story. Be very cautious. Just trust me when I say that this industry is probably the sketchiest industry, the world of financial markets and luring people in. Just never trust anybody blindly. Just it's a good rule of thumb. How much I made trading last month. Let's see what's he on? What is this broker? Holders Domain FX? How much I made Traders trading domain. last month. Okay. 
Traders Domain FX. Best thing is all set trades were called live on YouTube every morning at 6:30. How much I made trading last. So as always with anything MT4, we say this every time. Somebody showing you MT4, they can have uh, stuff going on behind the scenes. It might be real, right? I'm not saying it's not real. I'm just saying, just remember MT4. It's the order of like uh, believability is is broker statements, my FX book, trading view. And then MT4 is like the bottom of the barrel when it comes to proving something is a real account. I'm, and again, I'm not like I'm not going around like accusing people of anything because I don't know these people. I'm just I'm just giving you guys the rundown as you as a viewer, what I think you should consider when looking at somebody who shows you this stuff. Let me give you guys a run through of how I caught this 100 pip trade on pound New Zealand dollar a few days ago in our Discord. So as you can see here, this is daily time frame with a massive downtrend and the EMAs are all lining up together right there. Next, I use the Fib tool, which is this one right here from the high to the low. Then I go through each Fib level. So I have the 23, 38, 50 and 61 and I identify which one is the strongest level. I do this by looking for other confluences in the market, such as EMAs, psychological levels, trend lines and basic Clean. levels. I like that. See, so that was a nice, nice post. Went right through the whole process of how he found a setup, what he looked for. I assume price like came back and he got in. Yep, so you got into the trade. Nice. Awesome. I like it. That's all for now, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. It looks like you made it to the end of one of my videos. Thank you so much for supporting my content. It really means the world to me. And down below in the description, I put together some of my best resources for aspiring traders who are looking to improve. I've got some free downloads that could help you, some broker recommendations. And if you'd like to join our Discord or get access to some of our trading software, all of that will be linked down below in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.